All right, so it's Tino Cochino Radio. It is. We got to give him the official introduction. Grammy nominated. Big baby hey. drum hanging out. What's up, sir? Man, dog, I'm feeling good, man. That got a nice ring dog, to it. Grammy it? nominated. Next time you come, hopefully we say Grammy winning, Grammy award winning, right? Yeah, that's that's what, that's what we're going. We're we're, going to you do, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two, two time, one more time, man. One more time. Where are you at? Lord have what? mercy if I get that chance. <laughs> where, where are they? Where are you at when you get the call? Who calls you? And says, yo, you're nominated for a Grammy. Walk me through the whole thing. So I'm in um, Brooklyn in an Airbnb. I'm chilling with my home girl. And we ain't kind of like, 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 it was like a late night. Like, I hadn't even really gone to sleep. I just post some random, you know, like, BBD, Big Baby Drama on Twitter. Somebody hit me back like, I hope the Grammys don't snap you today. I didn't know what they was talking it's about. a random person. Yeah, I didn't know what they were talking about. Like, I'm like, what? Right. And then, like, <laughs> then, like, 15 minutes later, you know, I get a call from my manager. He like, yo, we're Grammy nominated. With Grammy effing nominated, da, da, da. I'm like, dang. That <laughs> it still ain't even all the way here. If that yet, happened to know? me, I would definitely want a girl next to me. That's like some extra stunting bragging. Like, who is that? Oh, I just got nominated for a Grammy. You know, oh, I mean, that's guaranteed sex. <laughs> guaranteed something. Yeah, guaranteed something. Do you do you have a speech prepared? I, I, I always wondered that. Like, if you're I'm nominated, do you write hip, something? I'm gonna come from the hip. I'm gonna come from the heart. But um, it's it's gonna be to the point. Uh, but I, I'm gonna make it as meaningful as possible. Most definitely, man. There's so many people. Don't you got to make sure you think the right people. Don't go up there and just. You got to have some kind of idea because you know there's gonna be that one person like you didn't thank me. I've been part of your career since day one. I'm not. I'm not even really gonna do specifics. <laughs> no names. Yeah, just keep yourself cool. Yeah. Just, Get, you know. Broccoli. Like when when you're doing this record, bro. You're in a studio recording this thing. Do you even? fathom that it could be as big as it became no it was just like a freestyle like like the whole like the whole pre-hook the whole hook you know like it was just literally a one take me going in a booth like that that's was a all one take one, that's a one take you don't get a grammy off one take that is crazy bro <laughs> that's verse to verse like my, my verse or whatever like yeah i actually like wrote it out like, but the pre-hook and everything, you just went in there and knocked it out. Yeah. Is Yachty in studio with you, or do you record this? Like, I don't know the whole yeah, like was, origin no. of the record. So um, I called Yachty. I see that he was in L.A. I was recording. I said, yo, pull up. He pulled up. Um, we had a vibe going with the beat, you know. It needed an extra little oomph, you know. And then um, I came up with the melody to the flute thing. Mm -hmm. And I had my keyboardist play it out like the way I told him to. And then we had ourselves a little beat. And um, you know, um he got uh he got into his mode, he got to writing his verse. And um, you know, I just like after his verse, like, I just went in and just whimsically just did that or whatever and then we had a piece or whatever, whatever. The next day I went into the studio and just uh did did like like recorded my verse because I wrote it over that night or whatever, and um within the next few days it was out on SoundCloud. I just thought it was gonna be a SoundCloud record. It's so crazy now. Like people are getting looks off SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where the music is really blowing up now for so many artists. Yeah. What um did when you hear people say mumble rap and stuff like that and they affiliate that with Yachty? Does it bother you? Like because I feel like it was all coming out like when that no, record came out. Cause it's not me. But I'm saying you had Yachty on a record, and so people try and throw that shade to him. Are you like, man, leave dude alone? Like we're just making fun yeah, yeah, music. That's that's bro. Like I like I don't really accept the slander. Like you know, You're making fun music. Yeah, if you don't like bro, it, you don't have to listen. Bro, bro we get rich together. So. Very true. <laughs> Very true. What's the last thing you bought yourself that you maybe never thought you could afford to buy yourself? I love clothes. I love clothes, and I've, I've yeah. So some expensive clothes. <laughs> yeah. I see you got the Gucci's on today, man. We got the Gucci flip flops. I just, I just, I just yo, girl, there's some Gucci flip flops. Hey, <laughs> I'm curious. What what is your favorite broccoli strain, if you will? OG. You just got to keep it original. OG, please don't give me no sativa. Please, I want, <laughs> I want to feel like I'm I'm deceased. <laughs> yeah. I mean, That's the worst. Like, I'm not big on weed, but when I do 
partake in extracurricular activities. I need something that's like an upper to keep me feeling cool. No, if not, no, if no. not, I'm like. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way. <laughs> no, no. So that's you, the vibe. When you go in the studio, you need. Do you need it? Does it make you? Do you think it opens your mind more? Or I, I just need trees, regardless. Like, you just need it. Yeah. Do you smoke around your dog? Hell yeah. Do you ever think your dog's high? I know he'd be high. Yeah. <laughs> like, cause he's on tour with us or whatever, so we be on the bus and he just be like. So like sometimes like what was just like crack the window thing and come stick his head out. And be like, hmm. I saw on your Instagram you posting these pictures, dog. So many girls are trying to kiss that dog. I mean that's got to be the biggest lady you magnet. You know what's so crazy in the though? world? He was probably like that was probably one of his most like, like uh like you know what I mean moments. <laughs> you can see it in his face that he won't really like like all for it because there was like ambushed on him or whatever, whatever and it just happened to catch the flick. And you know you can't really tell dogs' expressions or whatever unless you really, really know them. But, but that uh, one, yeah, he was, <laughs> he was like man, I'm engulfed. He, he was nervous or whatever. Does he like? Because I, mean, I know you bring him out on stage sometimes. Is he used to the yeah, people no, and very, stuff now? Very, very rarely. I brought him out on stage for my homecoming show, um, Norfolk, Virginia. When I did the Norfolk, that's, that's probably when I saw on Instagram, yeah, because you yeah. had him, and then yeah. you, they took him away right when Broccoli came on, and right. a whole place just was singing it. Right. You didn't even have to sing; you just put the mic down, and they're just wow. Right. Right. What is that feeling like, man? Just having that record. Obviously, you've been doing music, and you're on tours, and doing. I mean, you had success with Cha Cha and everything, but just this record, two times platinum. That was like in October. Four times, Four times now. Yep. This interview's done. <laughs> God, that is crazy, bro. Four times platinum. Do you worry about like topping that? Nope. Just you just go in the studio. And just do what you're gonna do. Just, and just hope the people rock with it. Just keep make. Just consistency is key, you know. Definitely. Um, you know, I feel like we have good traction with what we already have going on. You know, the Big Baby Drum album as a whole. Um, Cash Machine is the next single. I think you surprise a lot of people with the album too. I think, like, obviously, when you have a record that's that big, people are like, "Oh man, can he have something else?" And when you put the album out, I mean, it's a body of work. You're on there actually singing, and you got bars. And I don't think people expected it, man. I mean, that's got to be a dope feeling. Yeah, man. Um, it's cool that uh, that more and more of the everyday society is getting uh, hip to what Big Baby Drama is all about. And um, you know, my my core fans has been with me for a while now. You know that I believe that they're happy that I'm now in this position to where you know more and more people are are catching notice. But um, it's always been there, and you know the internet is a is a time machine. So you know. It's like probably about like two hours worth of Big Baby you can listen to. They so they can get all, caught up. All of that, <laughs> all of that stuff that everybody's shocked about. I'm curious. Um, the comedian George Lopez was just out here over the weekend and kicked this girl out because she stood up during his show and screaming and doing all kinds of stuff. Have you ever had fans do that? Like, are you like just you see one out there just maybe I don't know doing something crazy or flipping you off or yelling stuff? Does it ever affect you or bother you? I had this one show. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the girl was like drunk, <laughs> but like you know, like it's never attractive to just like you know every quiet part. Like you're yelling to the top of your lungs, like you know that you want to do this, that, and the third. And oh, so she's trying to like sleep with you, like yelling freaky stuff. You know it. She <laughs> <laughs> want them big old loud ones too. It's just like. I want to pull your dreads dry. Like, honey. <laughs> can I please sing to y'all? Let him live. Let him live, ladies, please. But no, nah, no. Nah, <laughs> it, 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 is, it is very, very flattering to get that kind of love and kind of attention. But uh, in moderation, I believe. If you're going to a show, enjoy the show. Right. It's that simple. So final thoughts, comments, concerns, man, for the people watching this uh, that couldn't be here. Yes. What should we touch Look, on that we didn't? No matter what kind of day you're having, no matter if, you know, you just woke up, if you're cranky, if, 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 if some eventful stuff happened, you know, just in the past, it, it's got you in the digs. Whenever you enter a situation, though, still try your hardest to enter it with love, positivity, and just overall good vibes. And nine times out of ten, it's going to come back to you. And it's going to lift you up, too. 
message. It's a drama. It's Power 983. It's Tino Coach Tino Radio. Yeah. Yeah, man.